I'm Adrian Schneer, Advancement Coach and Strategist, Lawyer and Professor, and you're listening to the Advancement Spot Podcast, the podcast all about academic and professional skills, strategy, and mindset to help you make big moves to achieve a life beyond your wildest dreams. If you're looking to accomplish more and take your next steps with supportive and experience-informed strategies, look no further. Let's get started. Hi, welcome to the Advancement Spot Podcast. I'm your host, Adrian Schneer, and I am so grateful that you've taken time out of your busy day to spend some here with us. Today, I am so grateful that Lavina, a client in my one-on-one program, is joining us on the podcast. Lavina is a graduate of York University's Health Studies Program, and she's currently working with the Canadian Mental Health Association and Trillium Health's Institute for Better Health. Lavina was recently granted admission to McMaster University to pursue her master's degree, and she is starting in just a few weeks. Thank you so much for joining me today, Lavina. Hi, thank you for having me. And congratulations on your admission. Thank you. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you, literally. (laughs) I am so, I'm so happy to have been a part of your journey and we're going to dive into that in no time. But first, let's, let's learn some more about you. What are you doing? What are you up to these days? So currently I work with the Canadian Mental Health Association as a community health ambassador with the high priority community strategy program where I conduct a lot of community engagement, outreach, and knowledge translation, as well as provide short-term case management to those who may be COVID positive or facing adversity related to COVID. And I also work with Trillium Health Partners as a community advisory board member, where I provide ongoing project oversight and guidance in a research project evaluating the high priority community strategy program. And I was also successful in acquiring a position with Trillium Health Partners as a peer research assistant, where I will be working alongside other members of the research team to execute research in line with the guidance provided by the Community Advisory Board on evaluating the High Priority Community Strategy Program. So essentially, all my work just comes back full circle. <laughs> it, yeah, it really does. And the one of the really nice things about your interests, your work, your application, your program that you applied to and got into, this was your first choice program, is that everything really, your experience and your background, everything really came together so nicely. Everything was in such alignment. And so really developing your materials was, was, listen, it's always tough, right? It's always Mm -hmm, tough. For sure. (laughs) But it was, it was so, it was so aligned with you and what you wanted. And that made it a lot of fun. Absolutely. Yeah. And it was really nice to see that growth from kind of when I was even thinking about grad school to where I am now. And I'm constantly reflecting on that. And it's so incredible to see that, you know, we did that together. And I really have grown a lot in the past year. Yeah. Oh, I want to hear so much more about what you have to say (laughs) here. So let's let's take a step back. When you decided to apply to this master's program, and this Mm -hmm. is a very competitive master's program at McMaster and actually in in most schools across the country these these are really competitive programs that you were applying to so how was that feeling what what did you feel when you wanted to apply yeah that was a very overwhelming experience and it was a lot of information to take in and i found myself getting a loss getting lost in a lot of that information and i created an excel sheet kind of back in june right before graduating for my undergrad with all the programs that I was interested in. And I just categorized everything by program duration, program requirements, cost of tuition, practicum or thesis, required GPA, amongst other things. And doing this helped me to consolidate a lot of the information, but the application process itself was so new to me. So I got lost in a lot of the little intricacies of program requirements, how to read that and interpret that and illustrate that for myself. And I really wasn't sure how to build a strong application. I didn't know how to write a statement of interest. I didn't even know what that was prior to this. And I wasn't sure how to build my CV. I was just very confused on to on how to frame my experiences with the right terminology. And I felt like I wasn't able to accurately illustrate my past training and my experience. So I find myself very anxious and constantly compared myself to what everybody else was doing and the experiences that they were earning and the ways in which I felt like 
I fell short. And that way of thinking really plagued a lot of my experiences. And it was a major struggle for me and something that I still try to work through even after we completed our program. And I felt like you really redirected a lot of my energy to just focusing on myself and what I was presenting. And you helped me block out a lot of the comparisons and just focus on me, Lovina, who I was and what I was presenting, which is something that I struggled with but we worked through each time we met. So luckily now I'm very much surrounded by supportive people in my social circle, my professional circle, but I know that I have a lot of inner work left to do on that. And overall, going to grad school was definitely on my mind, but it was more so on the back burner. So I was interested in working and really learning how to apply all of what I learned in my undergrad degree to my work. So It was a mix of being very confused and kind of trying to set my priorities straight, along with dealing with a lot of inner things that kind of felt like it held me back in a way. Yeah. And, you know, that's totally normal to feel all these things. Like, I remember when I was applying, I felt the same way. I -hmm. felt the same way. They're one of the things that we focus on here that we certainly focused on in our work together was learning how to prioritize and deal with certain things that are coming up personally in order so that we can move forward professionally. Because we've all heard, you know, you have your personal life and you have your professional life. And when you have your professional life, your personal life stays at home and your professional life is at work and you separate them. But we know it doesn't work that way. We go and we sit at our professional desks wherever they are and or we are in that professional role wherever it is that is. And We still are thinking about all the stuff that's going on in our personal lives, and it does affect our professional lives. It absolutely does. And so the fact that you're sharing that, you know, there were personal things that were going on at the time that you were grappling with is is really helpful. And so I appreciate that you're sharing that because it's the it's the truth. We cannot separate the personal from the professional. They're one and the same. Do you feel that way as well? Yeah, absolutely. And I still see that even in my work today. And it can be very hard to kind of find that distinction. But then I realized that, you know, it's an important part of who you are as a person to acknowledge those two kind of paths, maybe that you're wearing, but how they ultimately intersect in your day to day, and that how that impacts the way that you talk to other people and the way that you treat yourself. So I think it's really important to acknowledge that. Thank you. Thank you. And So what I want to know is through our work together, how did you overcome some of the personal challenges that you were faced with? So I think that it was really helpful that the program that we worked on together helped to address grad applications, professional development, all kind of in one. It was a very holistic approach. So Rather than you asking me to separate all those different aspects, you worked together with me to help build healthy relationships with all those different aspects in my life. And the number one thing that I remember you constantly reiterating was just positive reinforcement all the time. And you constantly reminded me, don't worry about what everyone else is working on and what everyone else is doing. Right now, we're focusing on you and how we can showcase your best skills and experiences. And that was a really difficult thing for me to frame on my own. I think prior to reaching out to you, I obviously struggled with that a lot. So I didn't even know how to frame my mindset in that way, where I was just focusing on what I can do to better myself and ultimately prepare the strongest application that I could. And I knew deep down, you know, kind of, working with you and working on this process together for the condensed three months, that even if it didn't work out this time, I felt so comfortable with the work that we were producing because it was encouraging and you really helped me see what I could achieve on my own. And you taught me basic things, sentence structure, how to format my experiences. But you also taught me how to link those transferable skills across so many other aspects of my life. And I was very grateful for that. And those are definitely mechanisms that I've tried to integrate into my life even after the program. And now a year later, from what I was feeling maybe at my lowest last June to now, it's actually insane to see 
how my mindset has changed so much. So can you, I, I thank you for, for sharing all of that. Can you, can you share how your mindset has changed? I think that having or surrounding myself in that environment where I was not, I don't want to say tunnel vision, but essentially it was tunnel vision on just focusing on myself and my experiences and producing my best work. You taught me how to format and write in a way that aligned with program requirements and expectations, but still it stayed very true to my vision and my goals and my aspirations for myself. And I remember that you asked me in our first session, is anything holding you back? What is holding you back? And I said, nothing is holding me back. And you put exclamation points all around it. And I felt so secure at that time, just sharing that with you and Because of all your reinforcement and your affirmations, that really helped solidify my choice ultimately that what I was doing, I was on the right track and it was right. And we're working on my own pace at my own time. And like I said, I really don't think I would have changed anything about the way that we worked together because it was every step of the way filled with new knowledge. And I felt at the end of it more or I guess less stressed out as we're moving closer and closer to the actual deadline for the application. Less stressed out as we moved closer to the deadline. I'm so happy to hear that. (laughs) I'm so happy to hear that. And I felt that from you too. I felt such a sense of comfort as we continued to work together and confidence in yourself, which increased over the duration of our time working together. And I was really just so happy to see that. It's so fulfilling to me to, to see that and to see you now you're in, you're starting in a few weeks. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's not only just, you know, through that work that we did together for those short three months, it went by really quick and it was a lot of hard work for sure. But all the things that I learned throughout those three months, I am still applying to what I do now. And I'm able to speak with a lot more confidence on who I am and what I present and what I bring to the table, essentially. Yeah. And I feel a lot more confident and grounded in who I am. I'm so happy to hear that. I think that is the point of laying our foundations together. Do you remember we did the, that, that first session together, our half day strategy session where we laid our foundations and we got to know who are you and we put it all down on paper. What are your aspirations? What are your goals? How are, what steps do we need to take to get there? What are your challenges? What is, what, what may be holding you back? Mm-hmm. And, and so much more. And I think that that's, I think you raise a really great point that it's a really concentrated way to get to know yourself. Exactly. Yeah. I'll never forget the first session that we did, the half day session. And I was so taken aback when I saw the little booklet and package you prepared for me when I first joined you. And it had questions that were definitely related to academic development and grad school applications. But there were other pieces in there that were focused on things outside of just applications. And at first I thought, how is this going to help me? How are we actually going to work towards creating an application if we're going to be focusing on things like what are my challenges or what are things that scare me? But then I realized how it essentially all comes back full circle. In order to prepare some something that you feel comfortable with or confident in, you really need to address multiple aspects of who you are as a person to put your best self out there. Mm -hmm. And it's not that we covered everything in your applications, right? We certainly Mm -hmm. didn't cover personal things that were going on with you in your application, but it informs how we frame things sometimes, right? It informs how we think about things. And sometimes even if we're not including, even, even in by way of framing, if we're not including certain concepts or, or feelings or whatever in the, in the, the materials, sometimes just getting it out yeah. and just talking about it to like release it so that we can move forward is the most productive thing that we can do. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. So how did you, so once we, once you decided to apply, <laughs> what was your process to working together? So after about three months of working in my role at CMHA, getting to know the ins and outs of what I was doing day to day, I felt like I could finally redirect some of my energy on the idea of grad school again and applying. 
And I recognized that fall was usually the time for applications and that's usually when application portals open. So I thought it would be a good time to seriously consider what I was going to do. And I went back to that Excel sheet and I searched through all the things in the notes that I had made. And amongst all the other schools and programs that I had noted down in there, the MPH program really stood out to me because I was interested in system navigation, knowledge translation, integrated care. And through my work day to day, I was really able to see that. So my ultimate goal was and still happens to be in consulting. So I was interested interested to see what I could learn in the MPH program in addition to what I did during my undergraduate degree. Mm -hmm. So I decided to gather some additional preliminary application materials in October. And then I just randomly came across your page, I think, on LinkedIn and the Apply Yourself Advancement Spot program shortly after. And I think I just kind of sent you a message and I was like, I just want to know a little bit more about what this is and what you're up to and how you are. And that's kind of how we began working together. Yeah, I remember that. And you actually, what I, one of the things that I remember is that you started at just the right time. You didn't leave it too late. And I, and you know, which is fine. I have other clients that, we, and we really do like a real intensive. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but, but, but you left, you left enough time. And so that really helped us have the, have the time to work together over the span of, of months. Right. And so that was such a, an opportunity for skills building. And as you've said, you're carrying these skills with you throughout your life currently. Right. So how do you feel about that, about that sort of skills building component that we worked on over over that that time? I think, you know, kind of going back to your point a little bit on the timing of everything, that also was a huge skill that I learned through the program and time management and discipline, motivation. Those were all very strong themes throughout the three months that we worked together. But even in the timing of how we began working together, I remember coming to you in October, I believe. And you were like, you know, we're just going to hit our deadlines if we start now. And I just thought to myself, everything is kind of slowly falling into alignment here from back when I made that Excel sheet in June and I was regularly checking in on it and focusing on my professional development as well. And then kind of returning back to it just in the nick of time to really start full force on building this application. And I think that that discipline and time management were things that I learned throughout the three months that we worked together. Because as you know, I did work full time. And so essentially all my time off was spent working on that application. And it was definitely hard work, but it was so, so rewarding just hearing, you know, all your positive feedback and ways that we can improve together and move forward on those things together. And you really taught me how to visualize, how to frame, how to understand and to actually see what steps I need to take to get to where I need to be. And skills like learning how to format my CV even with your very unique approach, that was so interesting to me and definitely something that I will carry with me. I actually don't think I would have been able to learn how to do that just through scrolling through a website and or searching for some sort of supplementary you know, resume, CV, support. (laughs) It really was tailored perfectly to what I needed at the time, which I really appreciated. You didn't focus on a cookie cutter approach to all the students or all the prospective students that were participating in your program. You really looked at who I was and as, as an individual in ways that we can move forward together with the things that I was strong in and the things where I needed a little bit of support and development in. Mm -hmm. And even even the things that that where there were room for improvement, we framed them in a way that that were still strong for your Mm -hmm. application. We we really talked a lot about, okay, what what did you do here? What are the skills that you are gaining here? What is the significance of this role for you? Not to the organization. What's the significance of your experience for you? And that is really Probably one of the most important questions we can ask is, what is the significance of this experience for you? Okay, so you have a title with an organization that means something to them. But for you, this experience is so much more than that. And so really being able to focus on 
what your experience is meant to you. And then to frame that in a way that resonated with the programs that you were applying to, that's the key. And it sounds so much easier than it is. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. For sure. There's so a lot easier. of workshopping and, and, you know, detailing and those, all those things. Although, like you said, it was hard work. It was so rewarding after, because in January, after we submitted, I felt so calm. I did not feel like I could have changed anything. And I don't think that's a feeling that I would have had had I gone through this process alone. I'm so happy to hear that. It's so, it's so wonderful to hear because yeah, we worked really hard together, but you also worked really hard on implementing, right? We came together for our sessions. We did a lot of review and workshopping together, collaborating, and then you took it and you ran with it and you worked on it and then you brought it back to our next session. So what was it like for you to come to our sessions, workshop and learn and really absorb everything that you needed to do and then actually go do it. How was that for you? So since I participated in the modified condensed version of the Apply Yourself Free Month program, our sessions were so full of productivity and ultimately all to ensure that we had a timely submission of all the application materials. And during our first session, I did try to come as prepared as I could I had no idea what I was ultimately getting myself into, but I was so glad that I felt so excited to start. And I had printouts from all of the program requirements and I had my transcript. I had even job postings that I ultimately wanted to work towards and lots of extra paper and pens because I constantly felt the need to note everything down. We had so many insightful, thoughtful, rich conversations that extended far beyond just applying for programs but also making changes in my personal life that would ultimately help me advance in my professional and academic life as well. And our accessions extended far beyond just how schools would perceive me, but also what I saw for myself and how I can lay the groundwork for this particular but significant time in my life to make a difference for my future, whether it be five years, 10 years. And I remember we had those five-year goals, those 10-year goals, short-term and long-term. And you instilled a lot of positive reinforcement in me and confidence to imagine so many things that I could achieve, but you helped me frame them in a way that felt so much more attainable than just me visualizing what I wanted. And having that self-awareness was important as well. And knowing what I wanted and what I saw for myself, it really helped to solidify a lot of our groundwork. I had a clear idea of what I wanted and I felt really comfortable in my decision to pursue further education, but actually achieving it and how to achieve it is where I felt stuck. And since the program was a little bit more condensed, you know, like I said, I use all of my time off to dedicate my time to my applications and it was very rewarding. But at the same time, we did go through a lot of those feelings oftentimes of, comparison and looking onto what others are doing. And you kind of always redirected me back to let's focus on you and what are you putting out there and how to frame the things that you already have to ensure that not only are you aligning with the program requirements, but you're also staying really true to yourself and what your interests are ultimately at the end of the day. And I really appreciated the space to work with you to learn how to frame my experiences and training to align with the needs of myself in those programs. And I feel like I wholeheartedly put myself on those applications and not once that I feel like I should have changed anything at the time. You know, things have changed a little bit now, but I knew that what I submitted at the time was my very best self. It was authentic and I was so proud of that. So not only did I learn how to navigate and understand program requirements and goals and what the school's vision and missions were, but I was also able to illustrate that on paper and really highlight my skills and how they ultimately did align with those schools. And, you know, prior to meeting you, I was lost as to what a CV was, what a statement of interest was. I was depending on so many external resources to help supplement that knowledge gap but it made me feel even more overwhelmed. So I really appreciated your individualistic, holistic approach to getting through these applications together. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that. And, you know, we always say that applications aren't just about getting in. They're about your exactly. life. 
right? That's like what I truly believe because anybody can write an application, but for it to be aligned with you and your goals and what you feel and what you want and what you want for your life and the life you want to share with people around you, it's so much more than that. And by addressing and being able to, being able to really clearly demonstrate, illustrate how what you want is not only in alignment with with the work or your your experience currently, it's also in alignment with the kind of life that you want, the kind of the how you want to be spending your time, who you want to be spending your time with, right? It's all part of the same picture. And so applications are really get, you know, they're not just about getting in. That's important. Mm-hmm. That's like, that's the point, right? <laughs> but it's exactly. not only about that. It, that they are about the kind of life that you want. And so did you feel like, did you feel that as we were working together that, you know, it, these applications really are not just about clicking submit. It's about much more than that. And you, we had to be in alignment with what it is that you wanted for your life in order for you to also feel in alignment with your, applications. Absolutely. I feel like I needed to go through the application process to really see that growth in myself. And I think, you know, that might sound strange because maybe that inner work could have been done without having to go through an application process, but that wasn't the case for me. That wasn't my path. And that's just how things ended up working for me. And I think it helped that I was sure in my decision my downfall ultimately i just didn't know how to get there i knew what i envisioned for myself i knew the type of lifestyle i wanted to live and we definitely talked about that a lot in our half day session and once again i was kind of like at that time how does this have to do with my grad school application but ultimately what you do now lays that groundwork for where you will be in three five ten years from now even beyond that So it helped that I was self-aware in the sense that I could see that life for myself and the things that I do envision and want for myself. But like I said, I was just lacking on how do I actually get there and how do I get there with intention and thoughtfulness and purpose, not just climbing this ladder and feeling so empty and drained and like I'm losing myself in the process. And like I said, I created just this application that felt authentic and real. And even reading back some of the materials now, I obviously have the file folders on my on my computer. And I usually will feel embarrassed if I have to read or old old coursework or old assignments. But I'm proud to go back and read it and I'm proud to see that growth within those pages and how we were able to actually document that and demonstrate it in my work. That's really powerful. That's really powerful because we all go back to old assignments and old essays and we say, oh, like, how did I, like, I got an A, but I could do better. You know, I can't believe I submitted this and I thought it was good. I remember reading back, you know, some of my (laughs) undergrad papers too. And so I, I really am grateful for you sharing that you look back at your application materials and you're, you're proud of them still. You're, you look back at them and you, you're, you don't think like, oh, I should, you know, that they're, it's not as good as it could have been. Like you're still proud of them even after. And that's, that's Mm -hmm. so wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. So how did you see yourself change from before working together to after? You provided a lot of the expertise and the skills and the tools that I needed to succeed. Kind of by the time we were kind of weaning off the end of the three month program that we participated in. And you taught me how to look for that within myself. So I found myself learning how to look for those skills within myself, even past the three months and appreciating what I have done thus far in building my career, learning how to frame my experiences and limiting comparison to others as much as I can. And those are just some things that I've noticed changes in definitely in the realm of comparison. I do still, unfortunately, compare myself, but I do think that kind of where I was last year versus where I am now, I feel so much more secure in who I am and who I present myself to be. And ultimately, going through that three months 
helped me build some of that confidence and you instilled some of that confidence. And even when you were, you know, my professor back in my undergrad, I always looked up to you as an inspiration and a mentor. Mm. So getting the opportunity to work with you so closely, one-on-one intensively for nearly three months, that really, even just watching you, observing kind of the way that you helped me workshop a lot of the materials that I was presenting. You never made me feel bad for what I was putting forward. And you always assured me that what I was doing was right. And I was in the right time, at the right place. We just had to work through some of those hardships together. I learned how to be so much more confident illustrating my skills in active listening and self-awareness and empathy. I was learning from you, but also kind of alongside you. And like I said, I still look up to you as a mentor, but you gave me the space and reassurance to be so autonomous in my Mm -hmm. own decisions. And we had to make some pretty difficult decisions throughout this process. And the calmness you instilled in me to get through some of those hardships, I will definitely use in the future. And even having the space to talk to you about some of the things that I was going through at the time was enough to help me because you just constantly reminded me it's going to be okay. It's part of the process. We're going to work through it together. I also have just a greater appreciation now for understanding my work and dedication and how that's going to pay off in the future. You really allowed me to apply myself now in a way where it feels almost natural to talk about my work and my education and my past experiences and my transferable skills. And I recently started two new roles with Trillium Health and having that confidence really helped me put my best self there, integrating myself with a new team. And it really shifted my, shifted my mindset in a way to be more open to those changes. Although I don't always do well with change, it helps me to know that I have some of those skills to manage some of those feelings of uncertainty. And I have a strong support system to back me. You do. And you always have us, right? You always have me here to apply yourself. You're part of the family. You're not getting rid of us anytime soon. So you're (laughs) always, you've always got a space here. You've always got a place here. Okay. Thank you. And you know that. I don't even have to say it. You know that. (laughs) Thank you. And so the last question that I have for you is, do you have any advice that you would give your younger self or yourself before you started working together with me? I think I would remind myself maybe not to fixate so much on the bigger things that are out of my control right now. Just focus on small tasks and actions that you can take in the present to ultimately help you get to your end goal. So for example, I knew that to feel like I was truly working towards my goal of ultimately going to grad school, I had to write it out. I had to see it on paper or in my case, I had to see it on my Excel sheet. And I knew that that was just step one of ultimately drafting an application. I feel like even during our sessions, that momentum was very consistent. Everything was broken down into much more manageable pieces. And that really reduced how overwhelmed I would sometimes feel. And that kind of goes back to the timing of everything. We had enough time for us to take our time, if that makes any sense. Nothing felt rushed. And... I feel like that's what really granted me such peace of mind in January when everything was said and done. And I think I would also remind myself that I don't need to figure everything out all at once. Rather, it's a process. And with the right skills and tools and resources, ultimately, it can be achieved. So I think that, you know, that's kind of two pieces of advice, but in some ways can be integrated into maybe one piece of advice. It's a lot easier said than done. Trust me, we both know. And it was a very difficult time. But ultimately, looking back, those are things that I pulled out as very consistent themes throughout the work that we did together. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. I am so grateful that you're here today with me and that you've shared your experience because What you overcame over this process was huge. It was transformative. It was groundbreaking for your, for your life. We really like your trajectory for the rest of your life 
is set. Like <laughs> it's, we've developed the foundation. You're in your program. You're starting in just a few weeks. And so that exciting. is huge. So congratulations on a well-deserved admission. And you'll have to update us on how it goes. Absolutely. And thank you so much for even having me sit on this podcast today. After going through your site, even through some of the foundational basics of your site back in kind of last October when we first started working together and now reading all these testimonies and listening to all these other podcasts, it's been very, very inspirational, even for me. And I had gone through the process already. Mm. So I hope that whoever's listening, it helps someone that's maybe in my position or someone who's interested in working with you during one of your programs or even your courses. I hope it helps someone. And I really appreciated the time to actually speak on my experience today. Mm, well, I don't even have some ideas. It won't be the last time we're going to speak about your experience. Oh, so we'll see. Okay. We'll see where we go from here. I want to thank you so much for being here today. Just really appreciate the space. Thank you so much for joining us today on the podcast. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Advancement Spot podcast. If you heard something today that helped you get one step closer to achieving the amazing life you want, and you'd like to learn more about working with me, I'd love to hop on a call with you to see how we can help you. So follow me on Instagram at applyyourselfglobal and send me an email at hello at applyyourselfglobal.com. I'd love to hear from you. Remember to subscribe so you never miss an episode, leave this episode a review, and share this episode with somebody you think needs a boost of inspiration and actionable tools to help them succeed. Thanks for joining me and see you next week.